stunning and cowardly strike on the United States. Terrorists and mighty skyscrapers crumbling to the ground. Many innocent people are dead. The president vows the killers will pay for this attack on America. September 11th, 2001. You will remember this day as long as you live. I was a senior in college during the attacks on September 11th. As the nation emerged from the tragedy, I wanted to know what really motivates someone who would intentionally crash an airplane into a New York City skyscraper. Now, as a faculty member at the University of Alabama, I am working to transform the way we think of suicide terrorists. Your piece was titled, What Drives Suicidal Mass Killers? And you wrote, for years, the conventional wisdom has been that suicide terrorists are rational political actors, while suicidal rampage shooters are mentally disturbed loners. But the two groups have far more in common than has been recognized. What do they have in common, Professor? My research shows that these attackers are driven to death by the same things that lead people to commit conventional suicide, such as depression, hopelessness, social problems, or personal crises. Understanding the insecurities and fears of suicide terrorists can eventually help us to develop powerful ways to stop them. My hope is to challenge the terrorist propaganda that glorifies these attackers as heroes or martyrs.